Hey everyone, this is Jessica the Rising Phoenix Dev, and today we're going to go with the absolute basics of CryEngine. And by the absolute basics, what I mean is importing assets from the marketplace. Now, CryEngine does have tutorials on how to do this, although they're written and it's a little bit difficult for a beginner to really understand what's being discussed with it, especially if they're new to programming. So, Let's do a video version of it that's a little more simplistic. So sit back, relax, and let's learn the absolute basics of importing stuff to CryEngine. So the very first thing we're going to do is have the CryEngine launcher open, obviously. I'm going to create a brand new c -sharp project and CryEngine 5.5 Preview 2. So let me click on a blank template and we're gonna call this Back to Basics. There we go. So now you will see this little cogwheel on the side. Click on that and then click on Reveal and Explore. We see our folder structure, assets, bin, code, and game, which is the, the CryEngine project file. So you could right click on it and generate solution if there wasn't one. In code, there is one, or should be. No, there's not. It'll automatically generate it once we load it. Anyways, let's click on the assets folder. And now we'll just dock this over here on the left hand side. We'll minus that down. We'll create a brand new, or open a new window. There we go. Side by side. So I'm gonna click on my local C drive. Crytek, CryEngine Launcher, Crytek. And you can see I have a bunch of the free assets that you get. Now, I'm not going to do game SDK or anything. That's a large one. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna go with the nature pack and I'm gonna copy this objects folder over and paste. This will bring in over everything that's in it. Uh, let's also go with hmm, Medieval Houses Pack. So we'll copy levels, objects, and textures. Copy, paste. There we go. And we should still have natural. Yes, we do. And we still have the medieval houses, which have has FBX files. We also see CGF, which is the CryEngine specific format for these objects. The source. And a few other niceties. So we can also look at the bush leaf. We see the DDS file, which is a normal, the diff file, which is the diffuse, SSS, which is specular, and then we see these one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the LOD settings. We also see an MTL, which is the material file, and we also see the CGF file. All right, cool. So now that we have everything copied over, we can exit from both of these, go back to CryEngine, click on back to basics, and let's load it up in the sandbox editor. All right, there we go. We can minus down. Now, these were originally made in a different version, so let's convert. Actually, let's... Okay. Yes, convert. Convert. I'm clicking convert. So we'll click on open. Uh, now nah, we'll just click on levels and then we'll do slash example. Hypermet res resolution 128 by 128, 512 by 512. Okay. 
So as you can see, I have the console open here, and this will generally just give me information on if anything's not loading correctly, if there's any errors. Let's click on objects, and let's click on static mesh. Here we see the medieval houses pack, which shows us the chimney, which, give it a moment, and it will load up here. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, errors pop up, but it's saying compiling textures. What it's doing here is it's taking all of the texture files and compile them to the CryEngine specific format, which is CGF. So we can just go ahead and exit that. We don't care. So now we'll just click on house and we'll drag it into the scene. We can see it has all the textures on it already. Looks terrible right now because we don't have lighting set up. Uh, let's also look at the square tower. Oh, rendering glitch. Okay, so while I'm at it, I might as well show you how to fix this rendering glitch. So as you can see, as soon as I click off, weird things happen, but as soon as I click back on it, everything's hunky-dory. Same thing if we click on this one, click off of it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on help, console variables, and we're going to do E underscore D. We want E debug draw. We're going to change this value to 11. Now, what this is, it is saying that, hey, we want everything to draw on this brand new layer that is unused. And now we see, hey, look, the tower's there. We can click off of it. We can click anywhere. And it's all good to go. Now, normally, if you're going to place houses and stuff like that, you would more than likely use uh, the prefab tool for that. Generate prefabs and mass place them. But since we're not doing that, the static mesh entity is what we were wanted to use. So, we have everything showing up just fine. And let's take a look at things from natural. So, let's look at the bush. A rock tree. There we go. And let's also look at some mixed plants. A uh, jungle tree, large. And burial mound. Drag. There we go. Hmm, we can see that the burial mound actually doesn't have its textures applied. So what we want to do here is we want to go through and find that specific object which should be a natural trees, burial mound. There's the texture file. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new material. We're gonna call it burial underscore mound. It's gonna generate the new material file. We're gonna open this in the material editor which for some reason is docked there, whatever. Don't care. So we'll go through objects, natural trees, burial mound, and we'll just save it. And I'm gonna close that. And now we're gonna click on this entity. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks right. There we go. That's all set up. It looks very, very weird to me for some reason. But it is a tree. But we can see we have some very weird shadows going on. So we just changed the shadow settings for that. Or the global illumination. Which is a video of its own. But there you go. We can see we have materials from two different packs showing up the way they're supposed to. Now, if for any reason they don't, then you would need to regenerate all the metadata. Now to do that, what you would do is you would go over to character tool. And we can see, so what you want to do if none of the CGF files are showing up or anything, here in the asset browser, click on edit, generate, repair all metadata. It'll regenerate everything. This has been the Rising Phoenix step. 
and I'm 